I washed them last night, so I think I'm gonna try um, putting some of my spices in them this weekend and maybe trying to make the um, essential oil diffuser. I've got my Totoro here. And I am totally rocking another week of no tinted sunscreen. So today um, I'm gonna head on over to my mom's house. We're gonna do um, some fun uh, smoothie bowls together. And so I got together some ingredients to take over there. Um, uh, so I'll show you guys um, basically what I made. I'm but anyways, this is one serving of pea protein from Vitacost unflavored, one serving of brown rice protein from uh, Vitacost, so it equates to two full servings of protein, I guess, uh, with the balance of pea and brown rice. There's also a tablespoon plus one teaspoon of chia seeds in here, um, as well as a teaspoon of xanthan gum, which will serve as a thickener for the smoothie bowls. Um, yeah, and then I've got inside this, there is there are two packets of this stevia extract that I get from Vitacost. So it's kind of fun to make your own like little mixes. But um, these are the toppings I'm gonna take. This is the um, shelled hemp seeds for the smoothie balls. Moving right along though. Um, and then I've also got a little bit of the unsweetened, just dried flaked coconut here. And we're going to be making berry smoothie bowls. My mom's got some frozen berries. Um, and so I'm going to take this sweet leaf uh, berry there. Um, as I said yesterday, I'm enjoying this, but it's not my favorite flavor. But I think it'll go good uh, if the bowls need a little bit of extra zhuzh. Who knows? Um, and then I'm taking my mom this big jar of Cambria Joy's uh, grain-free, gluten-free gl granola that I made yesterday. And uh, caution, guys, if you make this, um, <laughs> it is so good. Like, it's so good. It's basically just a bunch of nuts and uh, dried coconut sweetened with just a little bit of maple syrup and coconut oil and baked in the oven and cinnamon. The cinnamon baked on top of the nuts and as the nuts roast in the oven, they, they just release a lot of flavors and the raisins get like, like somehow softer. It's just really good and really easy. I mean, I did this yesterday, Friday after a long work day and it required like no brain power. It took me like, no time at all and I had this delicious granola for you know my mom and I today and for you know for forever. I'm not really a big granola eater but I love nuts and you know these snack mix types type things are really expensive and all of these seeds and nuts and things that I got from the bulk bin were like all of this I purchased for well under five dollars and I've easily got you know I purchased all of this for well under I would say four dollars for probably like 30 servings of this stuff it makes quite a lot and yeah so I mean you don't have to spend a lot of money on, on healthy food is, is what I'm getting at here um, but um, I'm taking I'm taking my own bowls over there because I don't know what my mom's bowl situation is like so I'm taking these I got these up here one I've also got a red one just wrapped up in a tea towel and then I happen to think that everything is more fun when consumed with a reused tutti frutti spoon. I'm totally obsessed with these. They're so cute. I get these at the yogurt shop. Um, tutti frutti is a yogurt chain that uh, always has a vegan option of almond milk soft serve, which I really appreciate because I hate sorbet. Um, and I just really appreciate that they always have that. So I frequently go there and then I keep my spoon and wash it and reuse it. I find they're very functional. And we'll see if my mom wants to try out this Dead Sea Mud Mask from, from Anjou um, with vitamin E, aloe, and the Dead Sea Mud. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. And I'm just gonna finish my coffee and head on out and I'll check in with you guys when I get there. Hey guys, I made it over to my mom's. Hi everybody, she happy has a, Saturday. She has a skincare update she wants to share with you all. Yes, and I don't like to be negative, but um, 
My daughter gifted me these to try out, and I'll have to tell you, I am not a fan of this Glytone. It stings terribly. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, I gave it a good try. I did it one day when I was outside quite a bit, and so I thought it was perspiration that was making it that way, but then um, I've tried it a couple other times. Yeah. And, um... I have to say, it's not... It's the glycolic acid. It's too, uh, yeah. too strong, and believe me, my skin can usually tolerate uh, something stronger Yeah. without them, but, um, yeah. I know, I'm not a fan of all of these I'm acids sorry, in skincare. Really no, no, it's the glyco... You know, people are claiming that you need to be using glycolic acid for anti-aging and exfoliating, but that just leads to irritation and hyperpigmentation and makes you look old. I mean, like, there's no role for that. And glycolic acid in, you know, cosmetics is not regulated like the glycolic acid, you know, that you would use in a, in a doctor's office for when getting a chemical peel, for example. So, you know, it mostly just causes a lot of irritation. All of these acids, like, there's really no role for them, so. You know, I reviewed it and didn't like it on myself. And you guys always want uh, my mother's uh, experience with skincare things. So, there you have it. Glytone gets how many thumbs? Well, I, I would just say one thumb down. One thumb down? It's, well, it's, did it offer you anything? Uh, actually, I don't think I tried I believe it. I believe to... it's 80 bucks for that little tube. Oh, my God. I know. <laughs> and so, for the smoothie bowl, I'm going to be using this... Um, organic unsweetened almond milk vanilla that my mom has. She gets it from Costco. Um, and this is a good one. Uh, it's a good deal. Oh, I also have coconut milk if you want that. Oh yeah, let's, let's get that out. It's, up, uh, it's not My mom also gets this uh, coconut milk from Costco, the Pacifica brand. It's pretty good. So, um, But this one's not cold, so I'm going to use the cold almond milk that just came out of the, freeze, out of the fridge. And I'm also going to be using um, the Kirkland Three Berry Blend that we get at Co that my mom gets at Costco. Um, I used to purchase this. I haven't purchased it in a while, but it's very good. It's got it's just raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. So that's what we're going to be using for the fruit. And then I'm going to put the bowls in the freezer because I think they um, do better if they're chilled. <laughs> so this is my mom's blender. And I'm just gonna put a little, I just put a little ice in there because the berries are frozen. Um, so it's gonna end up coming out kind of like the consistency of, I don't know, maybe soft serve. Oh, my blender can handle that. It's not so you can enough. see I've got about half a cup of ice and about one cup of frozen mixed berries. And depending on how you like the consistency of this, if you want it more soupy or more like straw drinkable, you add more milk. Um, if you want it thicker, you add either more ice or more frozen fruit. We want it thick. And with this type of blender, it's helpful to have a uh, wooden spoon to kind of break up the bits. There we go. All right, so you can see it blended up pretty nicely. So now I'm just gonna add my signature protein mix in here. I see, okay. And I'm also gonna add um, some of the berry sweet leaf drops. You know it's just right when it folds in like that. So now I'm just going to transfer it to the, bo the chilled bowls and put it back in the freezer for a few minutes and then tidy this up. It seems rather low. Don't yeah, you think? your tables. My mom's telling you guys her tables from IKEA. So we've got our smoothie bowls here, and they came out really pretty. I've topped mine with uh, the granola and some cuties and a few slices of banana. Some. My mom has some pumpkin seeds. Here are our toppings. My mom has these sprouted pumpkin seeds that she gets from, you got those from Costco? Um, yes, definitely. In the snack area. And we also have you know, We've got this awesome granola that my daughter made. We also have bananas. And then where do these crackers, these are the Crunch Master crackers yes, you get from uh, Costco? They're Costco. really good, yeah. My mom has some walnuts. 
We've got the Cambria Joy. Um, this is delicious. You like it? Very much. There's my mom's smoothie bowl. What'd you I went way yours? overboard with mine. Banana, orange, um, granola, Looks pumpkin good. seeds. And then I put a liberal dose of the hemp seeds. Oh, okay, cool. And I've got dabs here. Bubba. These are good. It's crunch Let me try this. Oh, you gotta have it with a. I like to eat mine with a with one of these spoons. Cause I don't like metal and coal. I know I'm weird. Can I use this one? You can use whatever you want. I mean, it's, it's, not not a, it's not a rule. Yeah. Mmm. What do you think? It's good, honey. How does the, do you taste the protein powder in there? A little bit. Well, it gives it the body that it needs. Mm -hmm. Um, this is my only way for a smoothie. I don't like drinking the smoothies. I don't either. I find that I drink them too quickly and then I'm, I'm, I'm left underwhelmed and still wanting to eat like, You're okay, probably it's time the to only eat. person in the world that doesn't enjoy smoothies. I don't like milkshakes this is good. either. I'd rather eat my ice cream. I don't want to drink it. You like milkshakes, though. I do. What's your? You like to get the Chick Fil A milkshake. What's yeah. Your favorite they are good. Milkshake? The peach. You like the um, peach? The peach one is delicious. Have you had the banana cream pie one? No. I bet I they do a good one. Was such a I thing. think they do. Um, Witch Wish has milkshakes also. I've never gotten one because they don't have any vegan options, but um, they do a banana cream pie one that always Ooh. looked good. This is delicious. All right, guys, so my mom is going to do this little skincare routine for you guys. She's going to wash her face with the New Do uh, Natural Beauty Gel Cleanser, normal to oily skin. I don't know if that classifies you. And then she's going to follow it up with the Anjou Dead Sea Mud Mask you guys wanted to see. This is um, The thing I liked about this is it's exclusively mud and... Um, and aloe, which is soothing, uh, but no fragrance, so that's awesome. And supposedly this is made in Israel, and oh, look, there's a little bunny. There are no parabens. There is also no methyl chloroisothiazinolone in this, to, um, if you're allergic to that. So I'm kind of excited for this. And then uh, she'll leave it on for 10 minutes, and then she will follow it up with the Nudu Moisturizer. See how she likes that one. It's really got a nice fragrance. It smells like... Lemon. Yeah, I didn't mind the, the, those products. I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> it's, it's just gorgeous. a clear gel. Yeah. Does this have aloe in it? It does. Yeah, I can. I, I don't know why. It feels but. good. It also has coffee bean extract, which is supposed to have antioxidants in it for whatever that's worth. But you're just washing it off, so I don't know. <laughs> I think I need a Totoro for over here. What do you guys think? This is my impetus to getting another Totoro mug, is that I need one to leave at my mom's house. So I have my Let's Totoro mug. Let's go get you one today. No, I can buy it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess we could. So we're just going to use a butter knife because... I can't get it open. Ooh, there's the mud. I bet that's going to be nice. Doing a little... Uh... Ooh, look how thick and pasty that is. It really Looks feels like, you could... like mud. Awesome. Okay. All right. Am I doing it? Yeah, this some of the correctly? YouTubers have a special uh, brush they put these things oh. on with. This is what my mom's currently reading, The Shell Seekers. You like it's it? It's very popular, I think, in the 80s. I'm going to read I, it. I read it once before. I'm going to use my uh, one of my audible, audible credits and get this. You think I'd like it? I think you would. Yeah? I like the... I'm drawn to the cover. You got this at the library? Yeah, I had to put it on reserve or whatever. And then you also got Camino Island. That looks kind of good. <laughs> Just because it looks like it's... The cover of that. I know. It, that That's... See, books can really pull, pull you in by virtue of the cover and everything. Whereas the audio books, I feel like lose that, you know. What do you guys think? Like, when you're just scrolling Audible, I feel like it's not the same as, like, going through the library or going to the bookstore. Like, I can spend hours in a bookstore and hours in a library. Mm -hmm. I can only spend, like, two seconds on Audible, and I get, like, kind of overwhelmed. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. I like to go to Barnes & Noble and, or even Costco. 
Yeah. Because that's where I saw that was a costume. Yeah, there's something, I, I derive some sort of enjoyment out of seeing and touching and engaging with the book before I commit to it. <laughs> it's a, Stephen King. Oh, yeah. I am a longtime fan of him. He has a book out now called 112263. Mm -hmm. And it's a little iffy. It's about a time traveler, which would, might put you off right away. Yeah. But anyone who wants to know about my generation and growing up as a kid in the late 50s, 60s, he has such spot on detail and description of just random things. Yeah, and, and what's the name of the book? Um, 112263. Oh, okay. Or the day Kennedy was assassinated. Oh, all right. Is it um, scary? It hasn't been scary yet. Oh, okay. But, you know, with Stephen King. Yeah. He does make some allusions to the clown in the sewer. Oh, um, yeah. But he, he tells that. He pulls in from his other... Yeah. His other epic books, but oh. We've been to the, you've been to the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, right? Yes. Stanley. I have. Yeah. The, have you guys ever uh, watched uh, or read The Shining? <laughs> That's one of my favorite scary movies, The Shining. Oh, it was filmed at a two hotel. Years ago, and it's really good. Yeah. When I, I read that when I was like, I think maybe in middle school, <laughs> and it terrified me. I can read it again during the whole week. Feeling like the red rum thing. Oh god, it really scared me. Um, and then that hotel is kind of creepy because it's really old, and I mean, you, you're familiar with it from the movie, so it's like I don't really want to be in here. <laughs> yep. And but Estes Park is really beautiful. The director Stanley Kubrick yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Estes Park is gorgeous. Yeah. Especially, you know, obviously everybody wants to go to Colorado in the winter time, but Estes Park in um, the fall time is fun to go to because all of the elk are out doing their mating thing, and then the le the aspen leaves start changing. I think that's a better time to go. Personally. The elk are um, in rut. Is that what they say? Yeah, in rut. Right. right. When does that occur? In September or something like that? You know, Chubby, I don't know. I think it is in. Um, Possibly around Thanksgiving time? Possibly. Is, am I clay yet? I think so. Maybe I should wait five more minutes. Yeah. It gave me a low country memory. Yeah. Um, those of you from the south may know what pluff mud is, but that's what this reminded yeah, me of. Yeah, you got some on the sides of your face. You want um. All right, so you're gonna come in with a moisturizer now that you have oh. that face. Put in the moisture. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I liked it too. I just wish it didn't have fragrance in it. You know, fragrance shouldn't be left on the skin, but what do you think? Looks good. It sure feels good. Yeah. All right, another mask win. Thanks. Well, hey guys, I just uh, got back from uh, fun times with my mom and went to the gym, and now I'm doing the Anjou Dead Sea Mud Mask myself. But anyways, while I was out, look what the Amazonian delivered, guys. My Tinkle Razors. How cute is the packaging on this box? Honestly, this is the entire reason I purchased these. You guys mentioned some fantastic ones, but this particular one, <laughs> it was really just all about the box. Um, and this was much more affordable than the um, than the ones from um, Sephora, which I don't know. I didn't have great success with as a first timer. I'm totally new to shaving my face, by the way. So um, there's that. But look, you get 36 uh, razors in here, and look how cute they are. Um, they're these nice pastel colors. Here, we'll just take one out so you guys can see. Um, so I'm working on learning this, and it's got a cute little uh, flower here. I kind of like these. They almost look like a party favor or something that will fall out of a pinata, but I guess that would be deadly to give kids razor blades. <laughs> um, and then it's got this cool little um, flippy doodle. And this is obviously one time use. Um, I will list the recipe down below for the um, 
the granola that I made yesterday. It's also in that video in the description box. Um, it's a link to Cambria Joy's uh, video. And, um, so I encourage you to watch her video because um, she's got some other great, fantastic recipes. And then in the description box of her video, she has a um, PDF that is free that you can open up and it has all of the recipes that she talks about. Maybe some of her other recipes will inspire you as well. But I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. Give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!